हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई विनोद वर्मा रीड आउट द फॉरवर्ड टू राजा राव कंतापुरा बाय राजा राव माय पब्लिशर्स हैव आस्क्ड मी टू से अ वर्ड ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन there is no village in india however mean that has not a rich sthala purana or legendary history of its own some god or god like hero has passed by the village rama might have rested under this papal tree Sita might have dried her clothes after her bath on this yellow stone or the mahatma himself on one of his many pilgrimages through the country might have slept in this hut the low one by the village gate in this way the past mingles with the present and the gods mingle with men to make the repertory of your grandmother always bright one such story from the contemporary annals of my village i have tried to tell the telling has not been easy one has to convey in a language that is not one's own the spirit that is one's own one has to convey the various shades and omissions of a certain thought movement that looks maltreated in an alien language i use the word alien yet english is not really an alien language to us it is the language of our intellectual makeup like sanskrit or persian was before but not of our emotional makeup we are all instinctively bilingual many of us writing in our own language and in english we cannot write like the english we should not we cannot write only as indians we have grown to look at the large world as part of us our method of expression therefore has to be a dialect which will some day prove to be as distinctive and colorful as the irish or the american time alone will justify it after language the next problem is that of style the tempo of indian life must be infused into our english expression even as the tempo of american or irish life has gone into the making of theirs we in india think quickly we talk quickly and when we move we move quickly there must be something in the sun of india that makes us rush and tumble and run on and our paths are paths interminable the mahabharata has 214778 verses and the ramayan 48000 puranas there are endless and innumerable we have 
neither punctuation nor the treacherous ads and owns to bother us. We tell one interminable tale. Episode follows episode and when our thoughts stop, our breath stops and we move on to another thought. This was and still is the ordinary style of our storytelling. I have tried to follow it myself in this story. It may have been told of an evening when as the dusk falls and through the sudden quiet lights leap up in house after house and stretching her bedding on the veranda a grandmother might have told you newcomer the sad tale of her village thank you